same, man. Now, people, you know, I've had people say to me, you know, gee, we're seeing wolves around Massachusetts. Is that they're possible? not coyotes, they're wolves. Well, I did a show up in Shelburne, Mass last year for the yeah. Shelburne State Fair. And people ask me that, gee, are there wolves around the area? I said, no, there's no wolves in this area. And this farmer comes up to me, he goes, well, gee, I beg to differ with you. He goes, I've already lost like 12 lambs, and I've seen this animal. And other people put up their hands and go, it's true. He looks almost just like your wolf. So what, are, you, color. what are we well, doing here? About a week later, that rancher, that farmer killed that wolf. And when they did DNA blood tests on Mass Fish and Wildlife, realized that it's a wolf from the... Um, there's a pack of wolves live up in the White Mountains. Is there? there? About six years now. And so the wolves in Maine, well, we've, um, at that point, we started doing research. So coming across Canadian border into Maine on their own. Yeah, a lot of people say, gee, could you ever release your animals in the wild? No. One thing, they'd lost enough fear of people, whereas if they were starving, they'd start coming around farms and um, human habitat looking for pets. They wow. would never go after a person. Right. But they would go after livestock and everything. And the other reason is, when they're about two months old, they abandon the den, and they start traveling with the pack and learning how to hunt as a Right, pack. right. We would have to yeah, run right, through the woods right. with these guys, chasing deer and hunting as a pack with them. So they like born to be free. Born free. Yeah. Oh, they had to show oh, following the power lines. This way, boy. Oh, cool. Yeah, the mud. No, that's wolf. <laughs> Coyote. Coyote. It's like that mud. Yeah. This way. Yeah. See how small their paws are compared to his. Yeah. Cool. And there's a deer. Oh, yeah, yeah. Where? Right there. Nice little deer. There's two of them. Headed that oh, yeah. way. Yep. Headed Thank in you. that way. I'd like you guys to help me. What we're going to do is, now that okay. we're getting back toward um, our pack's territory, right. we're going to howl um, to let them know that we're coming back, that we're part of their pack. Okay. And they should respond to us with a howl recognizing that it's us coming back to okay. the territory. <laughs> At night time, clear night, that'll travel 10, 15 miles. And they recognize my, my voice. They that's know so that cool. that's me. That's so cool. There's piles of bones, like there's a jawbone, oh, yeah. I can see it right there. Mm -hmm. And certain areas, there's piles of bones, that's different wolves' pile of bones. If another animal goes near that pile of bones, whoever it is, he'll get up and go chase oh, them Oh, so off. they piled them right oh, there, huh? Yeah, they have their own little piles and everything.
coyotes around your place? Did you ever hear coyotes like yelping noise? What that is is the adults just made a kill. And they brought the food back in the cupboard. I had such a wonderful time being with the wolves. The actual being with nature and to feel their spirituality and the power and the beauty as I watch them walk and I watch them play. It's really a wonderful spiritual thing. And I hope that you actually feel that too. So thank you so much for watching Animal Adventures. And in next time, go out and enjoy yourself in your own animal adventures.